much Leslie walked this morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As you would have seen, we started the day with a run, but today is a very special day. Our friends are getting married, and so I thought I'd do a bit of a wedding get ready with me. Now, I haven't moisturized my face since I got out of the shower because I was gonna do it with you because I am getting ready with you, and I didn't want you to miss this step because this is always my favorite step of the day. Arden, advanced ceramide, but I use a little bit more when I'm going to a special event because it is so glowy. I almost want to look like shiny and um, like bright. I gave my skin an extra scrub just to get any like dead skin off and that kind of thing. I was in the garden all day yesterday so just to give myself a bit of a refresh. Um, but this is like my perfect, perfect base. I might do a bit of a face ice as well, um, which means I will actually end up putting this on again, but never mind. More glow is more glow. But yes, so our friends are getting married today in a place called Ely, which we've never been to, and um, it looks like a spectacular venue. Um, I actually went on the Hindu, and so I feel really good because I like know lots of the girls that are gonna be there. Um, and yeah, so I think it's going to be a really, really lovely day. It's not as sunny as it was yesterday, so I think the boys are going to be secretly really happy about that. <laughs> but um, I, um, I've got my outfit all sorted, all ready, so I thought I'd go through all of my beauty like routine. I am going to be putting my hair up in a bun, just because I'm not sure on the weather, and I think... With the dress that I'm wearing, a bun will actually work really well. So what I'll do is I'll like oil my hair a little bit, get it up in a bun, pin it in place with all my pins and that kind of thing. Um, which I also love because it means I don't have to like spend hours on my hair. I'm going to do my makeup, um, moisturise, all of the good stuff. So um, I just showered and I used my little Provence soap, which made me very, very happy. I'm going to do a bit of a spritz. And I'm gonna go and grab my supplements as well. For my body care, I'm going to be using the High Grove Bouquet Body Lotion. And then because obviously with weddings, it's usually um, quite a long day. So we're gonna be leaving about 11.45ish uh, and we're probably not gonna be home until one or two o'clock in the morning. Um, so a little bit of dusting powder, just, you know, and um, also my wild deodorant, which actually is downstairs. So I'm gonna go and get that, but I'm gonna do the moisturizer just to like moisturize my skin, but then I'm going to use something a little bit glowy on my arms and my chest, um, just to set things, make it pop a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna do this before I ice my face. Well, I went downstairs to grab my deodorant and actually had a change of heart. I didn't go with Penhaligans in the end. I went with this patisserie body oil, which I am so sad. I think this brand is not like in business anymore. I loved their oils so much. This is their, oh, I just went up the stairs, Moroccan rose and oud, but it smells a little bit more bergamotty to me, I have to be honest. Um, so I've done that. I've popped a layer of that all over. Um, I've gone and grabbed my clips and chosen my underwear. Now I don't have a strapless bra to match this one, so I'm going braless, but I'm wearing my Perk by Kate pink lace briefs. These are so cute and will go perfectly with the Oscar de la Renta. Good morning. Am I in focus? Hello. Um, I am going to down my supplements very quickly because I want to do a teeth whitening strip as well. So I'm going to... Lumi. Um, so I'm going to get my... Um, so I'm going to down this very, very quickly. This means I can get my teeth whitening strip on and brush my teeth later because I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I've also run out of my ashwagandha, so this is just L-glutamine, but I think for a day like today, um, I'm just gonna go with the L-glutamine because I'm probably gonna be eating unlike my normal diet, so this will help massively. Et voila. Right, 
And I think I have a couple of these left over. These are my spotlight whitening strips. I've used these for absolutely years. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Now I don't drink as much coffee as I used to. Um, so I don't actually think my teeth discolour as much. In fact, I don't drink any coffee really. I have a coffee if I go down to London or something like that. But um, these are just brilliant for an instant like refresh and polish up. People always go to me, oh, have you whitened your teeth? And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I'm gonna get these on, leave them on for about an hour. So it's a good opportunity to my makeup. You know what I mean? Good. And I put them on like this and I push it into my teeth. So you really push it into like the cracks of the teeth, because that's where you get the, the like <laughs> that's where you get the most discoloration, I think. Et voila! Now I'm going to clean my ears. <laughs> and another little hack that I use for cleaning my ears, probably totally wrong, and everyone will say that's so bad for your health. But I get a little Q-tip, I put a baby wipe, <laughs> and I go in. I always think if, you, if you're gonna have your hair in a bun, you should um, give the ears the once over. I also trimmed my nose hairs this morning because that is something that I do. I've got such thick hair, I don't think you realize I actually have to trim my nose hairs, otherwise I can't breathe. <laughs> so bad. It's literally like, <sighs> Et voila, right. I have to say these little alfalfa sprouts are killing the vibe. So, how are the brows looking? Brows are looking good. Um, what I have is these little um, shavers, and you can get them from Amazon. They're sort of like derma planers, like this. And I use these to just get the fluff around my eye, like my eyebrows, so that it really tidies everything up. I think it looks really good. Um, but there are a few little stragglers in there. So before we start doing anything, let's go in and get the stragglers. Give the eyebrows a once over. Then we are going to give them a little trim, as always, because my brows are so long. So these are the Tweezman scissors and a Tweezman brush as well just so reliable for a good old short back and sides of the brows push them up and down because you get a whole new perspective of the length when you push them down we've had almost a whole body trim right i'm gonna go get some ice okay we have the ice um, and I always do it in a napkin because I find that napkins work better than um, flannels. So I've got these ones, these little green ones. And I just break up the ice as much as possible so that it contours the face. Just helps with depuffing, drainage. I kind of move it around the face. Oh, it's starting to get cold now. And now we're going to the drippy part. Going in first with the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. Three pumps, extra glow. That is sort of my first layer of makeup and I like to buff everything in because I always feel a little bit more exposed when I've got my hair up. So every layer gets a little buff over with a brush. Push it into the hairline. Then we go in with the foundation. So this is Shantakai Feature Skin in Cream. Don't go in with too much. And this is just like a really lovely veil to the skin. I always feel like my skin looks like skin when I wear this foundation. And we go under my buff. Struggling with the light today, as usual, because there's not enough sunlight there, so all of the sunlight is there. But 
Name mind, I'm going to go in with my concealer, which is Clé de Peau in shade Light Rose. And you'll notice I tend to always conceal in the same way. Over the nose, corners of the nose, any imperfections. This is a really good concealer for like on the spot coverage because the, the, the tones are just so natural. And what I love is that it's a bit lighter than the color of my skin. So again, adds radiance and luminosity. And I'm a bit of a dabber rather than like a swiper with foundation. I feel like it disperses things but keeps the coverage. Go in with the pièce de résistance. This is the Swede um, powder, miracle powder. And this is another veil. So it feels very light on the skin, but it just blurs and adds radiance whilst it looking like your skin and not looking sweaty. Now for the under eyes. Beauty pie, because we had a good night's sleep. If we hadn't had a good night's sleep, we'd be going for the banana low lighter. Under eyes done. Now we're gonna go in with the Rodeal Glass Powder. And I do this quite generously when I'm going to a wedding, more generously than usual, but I just take a little brush like this and push it into the areas where I'm like, that I want to stay matte, like my top lip. The corners of my nose. Now, bronzer. Little bronzing brush from Beauty Pie. And Victoria Beckham, as usual. Just build it up, dusting it on. Hairline, as usual. I do this because I want my like face and hairline to be seamless. So adding like a little bit of bronzer into the hairline like that just makes it look even more like good. Little bit of bronzer over the schnoodeline. Blend, blend, blend. Blush. The Swede blush cream. Air blush. Air blush cream. This is my favorite. I love this so much and I want to add as much as possible of this because it just makes the makeup pop and it blends so beautifully. Lovely. Brush the brows through. I'm going to apply what I use with my base, which is the NARS uh, creamy concealer, soft matte concealer. My Vive palette, which is the one that I always use, and I'm going in with So Shy, because that's always my base of choice when it comes to uh, my eyelids. Now, I think I need something a bit pinky, but I don't know if I've got any. Mm, we have a whole thing of pink. <laughs> a 
This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. So this should be the right option. Got my blending brush and applicator brush. So this is Dream and it's this hot pink one, but I think it might come out nicely. This could all go horribly wrong. I'm just gonna build up really gently. The sun is out. Look at the difference in the light. My goodness me. I'm going to go with rose petal for my lips as well. A pocket square? Oh, you do a pocket square there? No, not necessarily. Oh, I need something a bit deeper. I'm a bit bright at the moment. My lips are sticking together as well. I'm just talking to myself, don't worry. And a little bit of eyeliner. This is Victoria Beckham Cacao. Right, mascara. I'm gonna go in with the Cloud Mascara from Swede. So, oh, this mascara is just so good. It's just so good. Ah, oh, the sunlight, because my dress is so spring-like that I'm like, oh. I'm gonna pop a little bit of pink on, under the eyes as well. Too much pink? No. I think I'll do a tiny little bit of... eyeliner in the waterline, just to make it pop. Another little layer. You can just kind of keep going with the cloud mascara as well because it just doesn't stop. So I don't want it too much, but a little underneath. So to take with me, I need Wild Rose and Rose Petal. I'm going to take concealer, uh, foundation brush. Now it is time to start on the hair. Goodness me. I've still got yesterday's hair in. So I'm going for my little sort of parting bun, um, just so that my hair is all off my face, um, because I think there's a lot going on with this dress. There's applique, there's hydrangeas, there's a lot, and um, I don't want my hair, to, because it's so long at the moment, I don't want it to be like competing with the dress, if that makes sense. Um, plus I feel like it looks a little bit more chic rather than glam with my hair down. So you'll probably all tell me I'm wrong, but we're going with it. Now I'm adding some of the heirloom oil to my hair. It helps with keeping my like flyaways down because I've got coarse hair. 
Flyaways are my biggest problem when doing my hair and making it look like sleek. So um, considering I need to wash my hair anyway, this is going to make my life a lot easier. And it's also good for my hair, which I love. Oh, the pink is really nice. I like the pink. Good, 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 good. Right, my little comb. So this comb is integral to getting a sharp but sleek bun and you will see why. So I'm gonna part it there. I'm actually very sad though. I've learnt that one of my favorite people, Kaylee, is not gonna be there this evening. Very sad. So the first brush that we take is one that really kind of gets all of the hair into place. Et voila, a hip. So I always use a Sand and Knight mod modern hairspray, <laughs> which I actually don't have a lot left of, um, so I'll have to use my travel ones. But this is really good because it kind of brushes out as well, but it smells nice. That's the thing I love about this, it smells nice, and you know what I'm like. And I try and not scrape everything back too harshly. Famous last words. So take it down first so that things are not too harsh on my hairline and then slowly sort of stagger the pulling back of the hair. You don't want too much of a parting, that's probably a little bit too much of a parting. You just kind of want it to look like it's a gentle pullback, I think, personally. bun is in, now you kind of tease it out a little bit so that you can secure it correctly because you've got the tightness, this is literally just how I do my bun all the time. First pin to sort of get it to stick to the head a bit more. So hair is done and I'm gonna take off my t-shirt and shit. revealing a nice white teeth. Makeup, hair, outfit complete. I am getting to wear this stunning Oscar de la Renta dress again. Um, this is obviously blue with pink flowers and green leaves. I've also got uh, one of the like baby cashmere um, end peel cardigans in blue as well. It's a little bit more vibrant, but I feel like um, it works really well just for something for like a cover up because it's a little bit overcast at the moment, but the sun is sort of coming out sporadically. Lady Dior, Jimmy Choo's, which are kind of like 
just barely their heels and I'm ready for the wedding. Oh, so exciting. Good morning, everyone. I am looking like a full on egg today because I did not sleep well last night. We had the most wonderful time at the wedding, but I don't know if something maybe I ate or drank just didn't like agree with my body, not in like a upset tummy type of way, but more in like a, um, I was really like low and lethargic yesterday and then I didn't sleep. So usually if I'm really tired like that, I just sleep really well. Um, but that is not the case, unfortunately. Uh, but I still got up. I still got up at quarter past five and made it to Pilates with Claire. And I'm so glad that I did. We did loads of stretching and leg workouts and it was really, really good. Um, I've also started a new book this morning. And one thing I have to say to you is when I start a new book and it resonates with me, it is like someone sticks a, like, stick of dynamite up my bum and I just feel a new wave of energy. So despite the fact that I haven't actually slept that well and I probably look like a little bit of a toe, um, I am like firing on all cylinders. Now I actually have a press call this morning with the Daily Mirror. We're talking all things Karen Millen collections and then also um, like my sort of desert island beauty must haves. Um, I, I Well, the question said it was just one, but I've got a whole pile just to cover my bottom because I know there's a lot of bottom talk this morning but I know that sometimes if you don't prepare for more then sometimes you can be caught off guard so I've got a load of products next to me um but yes this book this book this book this book I've got like five minutes maybe I can tell you about it but basically um I saw it on TikTok um it was basically like not even advertised to me someone was just like oh this book is now like seven pounds on Amazon or something like that and I read the title and I was like, you are speaking my kind of language. The book is The Courage to Be Disliked. And if you don't know about me, one thing is there was like, well, there's, there's always been this narrative around like, oh my gosh, Lydia gets so much hate. Lydia gets so much online trolling. Lydia gets this. And for so long, the level of shame that I felt for that, like, oh my gosh, why, why, why do I get so much of this? Like even friends used to say things to me like so, so like passively, oh, I can't, I wish I could go back and tell Lydia to stand up for herself. They would say things to me like, yeah, you get it really bad. Um, like I don't get it like that. Like I've got a really nice audience. I'm like, oh. at the time I just used to be like, wow. And now, I'm exploring this so much more and I'm really exploring and understanding what, you know, the, the, the sort of understandings around being disliked and um, in today's society as well, because I actually think it's quite easy uh, to be disliked in today's um, society. And I am instantly, this book has hooked me, hook, line and sinker because it is talking basically about all of the things that it's made me just sort of realize how much of who I am as a person is rooted in like knowing myself and not deviating from that, but also not having the courage to stand in it strongly. I think if I'd come to, to YouTube earlier and I had a really strong grounded like sense of who I was, I wouldn't have been so shaken by the fact that there were quite polarizing opinions of me online and um now i know that you've got you have to you have to have that element of some people really being passionate about you and then some people being really passionate about not liking you to stand for something and i really stand for a number of things online i stand for evolution growth i i stand for not caring what people think. I really, really, really value those things. And in those instances, when so many people of society are affected by those things, you know, caring what people think of them, wanting other people to care what they think of them. You ever heard of the saying, you should be ashamed of yourself? That is very much someone's personal experience. Them taking it and trying to make you feel something for it because they feel shame for you. They expect you to feel it because they feel it about yourself. 
Like, my mind blown. It doesn't blow. <laughs> I don't think that's a saying. But anyway, I'm jumping on this call now. Um, that is my link coming into my inbox to discuss all of these things with the Daily Mirror. So we'll talk about the book afterwards. Um, but it's one of those books that I'm like, I'm already an hour into it. I love listening to things when I go into my um, Pilates class or when I'm driving somewhere. And I'm already like an hour in and it starts off with the discussions of like trauma and how society utilizes trauma nowadays. It's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. But I'm going to jump on the call um, because I've already, I've, I can't believe I've just spoke to you for five minutes about this. Morning, so good, good to morning. meet you. <laughs> absolutely, you take the lead and, and I'll follow. <laughs> I'll close my emails as well because there's nothing worse than emails pinging in the background. <laughs> well, I think, I think inspiration for me, I try not to overcomplicate things. I think that you can get really sort of lost in the pursuit of always something new, always something like fresh and innovative. And there is something for me that's really special about the simplicity of life. And there is nothing more inspirational than what I look out of my window at every single day. That makes me so happy, you have no idea, because it is hard. Like you saying as well that, you, that you've been blogging for, for eight years and you, it, it's so easy to get wrapped up in this industry and get, and get carried away with things. And it is a constant thing where you have to go, no, I've got a responsibility here to make sure that my audience can, can trust me. And it's, that is really where I put so much of my focus is my audience. They come above everything else. I'm not looking to attract a, a bigger audience. I'm focused on my audience and I hope that through doing that, other people will want to come along and join the party because we're having a great time. <laughs> I, I just don't think that I can ever pick just one. That, that's the it's, thing that's really it's hard. Favorite dog, isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not happening. I, I, do you know what? I think when I was younger, I had a lot of self-doubt and, and a real, a real lack of confidence in myself and what what my abilities were. And I think as I've got older, that's obviously changed. You get a lot of a sense, a lot more of a sense of calm in yourself. That was a wonderful, wonderful interview. I love it when I have interviews. Um, with people that feel like kindred spirits in the industry. I don't know what it is, but I just, you know when you get the vibe and I'm like, oh, and it's just so easy and it's just like having a chat with a friend. It's so lovely. Um, but basically we were talking about Karen Millen and my most recent collection and then also um, like my ride or die beauty product. And you'll have to wait for it to come out for you to learn what that is at the moment. I was I was trying to be quite tactical with it. Um, so yeah, I'm not like made up or dressed or anything like that because tomorrow I'm going to be full glam for Wimbledon. My dressing room is a hot mess because there have been a number of deliveries today and I was trying to decide on which dress to wear. I'm still not sure because I haven't had a chance to wear like this striped Oscar de la Renta and I feel like that would be so cute with the florals and the stripes for Wimbledon. It's got a little bit of green on there. I don't know but then I've also for something really chic and classic this dress from Reformation would be so so nice. I've also got my age-old um, Zimmerman halter neck which is looking a little bit disheveled. I've had this for years and I wear it so much and it's so elegant on. I also set out some other things because I thought could we go a little bit sort of Kate Middleton vibes with the polka dot Holland Cooper. That would be so lovely as well. Oh I can't decide there are so many options. Then I've got my Amelia Wickstead. Um, I thought this with like a little cardigan or something like that could be really lovely. I've got options but my first thing that I have to tackle is some fabric samples that have been sent from the amazing Miss B Millinery. Um, these are for some headbands and pill boxes that um, I've ordered and I want to colour match them. So now first things out the bat. So these were the first samples that were sent and it's so funny. I just never like anything too sparkly. I like the back of this. This has a subtle sparkle at the back but all of the party is on the front, but I think that's a bit spandangly for me. Um, then this is, we're looking to some, for something to match my new ivory bag and then something to match my oxblood for like winter. So out of these two, I'll have to find one that matches. I've got, have I got anything that's the same color as the bag? Cause it's in storage. Oh, this is why it's fantastic to have 
an accessories edit because you have little accessories that match everything. So when the bag's not here, you can just match them up. So I'm thinking off the bat that this is maybe a little bit too, mm, on camera it's so hard, but I'd say that in person it looks better. Does it look better? See, this is showing up way more vibrant than in person. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to send her a picture and see what she thinks. Now for this bag, I think the back of this one is the perfect, perfect tone, but I'm just not sure that we'll be able to do it with the back of that. We've got some other bits and pieces here, but I think these might be too white. Yeah, these are too white. If I put that there, can you see that this has a bit more of a buttery tone to it? Um, I'm going to take a picture and send it now just so she can get the same sort of visual that I get. I feel like I've worn everything today except for a solid outfit. One minute I'm wearing trousers and a cashmere jumper in July. Then I'm wearing a dressing gown. Then I'm wearing a different dressing gown. And then I'm wearing a Pilates outfit. It's just, it's all different. But um, what I have been doing is planning my Wimbledon outfit. Um, this one, I felt like I had the general vibe already existing in my wardrobe so I didn't purchase anything new for it. Um, I always like to feel quite fresh for big events of the year but also Wimbledon has that more casual preppy vibe that I feel my wardrobe has anyway. So this is what I've settled on. This is my backless Zimmerman dress that I've had for around about six years. Um, don't look too closely, it will have Porter's hair all over it. Um, I've also gone for a very preppy navy uh, Holland Cooper blazer. And then I've got some sapphire, like gold 80s sort of style earrings to go with it as well. I'm trying to decide on the sunglasses because in all honesty, I wear these Celine Triumph sunglasses to death. And I actually feel like my vintage Ray-Bans will be very, very cool for this look. These were my dad's and he gave them to me and I'm sure he regrets it every single day, but these would be very, very cool. So I'll try them on with you tomorrow. I've also got my vintage Hermes belt. I got this for like 200 quid on uh, Vestia or eBay, I can't remember, but it was one of those. Um, I love this dress because it has little belt loops built in. Then I'm gonna go for the mini Kelly just to annoy Ali because he knows that none of his stuff fits in this bag. Um, so that's gonna be my bag for the day as well. I'm thinking potentially a ponytail, but I do have to wash my hair tonight because it is gross. I thought I was going to be able to wash my hair today, um, but I just, I didn't think it through. And I always have to wash my hair the day before um, I have an early morning Pilates class because I obviously get up and shower, go and do Pilates. Tomorrow is going to be a bit of a higgledy-piggledy day. I have brunch with Glamour magazine to start the day off, which I am still not over. I'm very, very excited for this. And then I zoom across, I meet Ali, and we head to Wimbledon with Hello and Emirates. So um, it's going to be such a lovely day. I'm really looking forward to it. Outfit is set little nods to Ali in my outfit as well. We're going like a little bit matchy-matchy. I think that's like our thing that we've really found that we enjoy doing. Just having like a nod to each other in our outfits. It's just lovely when we're attending events together. So yes, that is where we're at. And we're properly dressed in my favorite outfit of them all. This is my Beaufort and Blake, almost like a sort of linen-y, cotton-y baby blue with some Beaufort and Blake jeans. And these are my Laura Piana summer walks, but I've never worn them before. I always feel like they don't suit me. I feel like they don't suit my leg shape, but, oh, I just don't know. They've been in my wardrobe for actual years, but I always think, I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna wear them, because they're actually really comfortable. These are their leather ones. I remember when I found these, I was like, oh my goodness, they're like the perfect tan, and then I never wore them. But I feel like I should. Anyway, I'm gonna wear them and see how I get on. <laughs> Finally getting dressed at 6 p.m. My favorite way to finish the day is in the greenhouse. We're just about to have some dinner, but just to come out here, spend a bit of time. I feel like I've been pulled pillar to post all day today. We've been finalizing things, sorting bits and pieces out. I've had phone calls. I've finished up campaigns, all of the good stuff. <laughs> and um, 
just coming out here is always like my sense of grounding and my cucumbers need some love so i'm going to give them a bit of a um, water just a little bit to get them going we've got a few little cucumbers making an appearance on there so freshen them up a little bit Now, Porty, I know you're upset with me because I just got up off the sofa, but what you don't realise is that Daddy has just come in and said the magic word, which is, I'm going to hang the mirrors for you in the bathroom. <laughs> nothing, and I mean nothing, gives me the horn, <laughs> quite like my husband doing acts of service for me around the house. If you haven't worked it out yet, my love language is acts of service. And um, to be fair to him, he has been bugging me to order some like some last minute bits for the guest bathroom. So mirrors, um, toilet roll holders, towel holders. I got new bins. I usually just get bits and pieces from Rowan and Wren. They have such great hardware for bathrooms. So they arrived today. They do next day delivery, literally so, so good. So I thought we would do that. I didn't think that. Ali told me he's gonna do it and I was like, praise the Lord. <laughs> the other thing that we've got for one of the guest bedrooms, because obviously we have air conditioning in our bedroom, we have the new Dyson Purifier Hot and Cold Formaldehyde. This captures ultra fine dust and allergens and even destroys formaldehyde. It apparently, I'm reading this off the side by the way, apparently it removes 99.95% of particles as small as 0.1 microns. So this is like the new inf improved uh, Dyson hot and cold air purifier. And we have another Dyson fan in the other bedroom. And so it's always good, I find, to have a really good fan in a guest bedroom, especially if you're able to crack a window and get the cool air circulating using the fan. It's such a little hack. So I'm gonna get that unpacked whilst Ali goes to work and does his thing. He's got all of his tools just love it that he has all this stuff just knocking around it's it always makes me laugh because i remember when people used to say oh you know he's just a a sparky or whatever genuinely having a husband who is handy is probably my biggest flex other than the fact that he's incredibly handsome I, it's my favorite thing other than the fact that he's incredibly handsome and incredibly kind the fact that he will just like do things and get things done and he can put anything up. It is one of those things I'd say, if you can find yourself a handyman, you are, you are very lucky. <laughs> and so he's gonna get up this mirror from uh, Rowan and Wren. This is an English oak mirror, uh, oval shaped. We've really struggled to find um, the right mirror. Obviously the lighting still isn't sorted in here either. These lights and the spotlights are supposed to be on different switches, but we are waiting to change these to a nice, uh, more distressed finish. So yes, very, very bright in here at the moment, but that will be changing. But it's good because it means that Ali can see. Look, Pawsey, it's you. It's you. Perfect, see, look, just like that, he's gonna put a lamp in the lamp. No, a bulb in the lamp. No, bulbs grow, lamps glow. Yeah, true, but they do call them bulbs online. Yes. You enjoying that, Lumi? Oh my gosh, you know someone um, said on my last video, or one of my last videos, that where's Barkley? We never see him anymore. Should we show, show them where Barkley is? Yeah. Quickly. You got your torch? Torch. This is where Barkley goes, so if you're ever wondering. It's only at night no, he goes there. No, it's not, he goes there all the time. Barkley is such a introvert that he just takes himself off. Hello, Barky. <laughs> you taking all your toys <laughs> under the sofa? <laughs> oh, Porty, you want to go and? <laughs> oh, 
Pawsey just licked it in my mouth. Bye, Pawsey. <laughs> So if you're ever wondering why, Barkley just does that. He just takes himself off. He's one of those, like, dogs that he's very, very chilled with things. He only ever gets upset when our next-door neighbour dares to go into her garden. <laughs> That's the only time he gets upset. So, yeah, he's either there or he's in his bed. We have Mr Millen Gordon measuring up. Do you want to hold it up, though, and, and just double-check? No. no. Okay. That is, that is a, a, a very definitive no. <laughs> Both my sausages. Hello, Boggy. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Flum. Madam, I have a cat flap, but I will try every other window and door before I use it. Come on then. There you go. Oh gosh. This was very slapdash, my love. I'm sorry. Can you appreciate these techers? This is the level of tradesmen I am used to. That is so good. Right. Yeah, height-wise, it looks lovely. Really nice. Yeah. So let's take that other wire off. Yeah. Oh wow! I had no idea that these other boxes contained the new Dyson. Hair dryer. Oh my gosh, so this is the Dyson Supersonic Neural. Wow, I, I thought it was like the adapters for this. That's so kind. And there's also another box, so I'm gonna open that one too. <laughs> well, that was very, very unexpected. I thought the two other boxes contained like adapters and add-ons for the fan and for the purifier but they actually included some hair tools and I feel so silly because I would have loved to have been trying these out but the good thing is, is I can try them out in the morning. I mean, I'm not gonna try the um, air straight out just yet. This product has intrigued me so much because this isn't maybe something that I would um, buy because I, I, I've got such sort of unruly hair that I'm, I'm not convinced that this will work on my hair but so to be able to try it and test drive it and see what I think. Just purely because I know that I've got a lot of girls that follow me with the same hair texture and I'm very intrigued. I would be over the moon if it did work, genuinely. So I'm, very, I'm definitely putting this to the test, but not before an event. <laughs> Thank you so much to the Dyson team. My goodness me. Ali is very jealous because Ali swears by their hairdress, their hairdryer. So, yes. But anyway, um, Ali is just shutting up shop. But I have laid out my outfit for Wimbledon for tomorrow, um, and this is the level of organisation that I wish I always was able to do. Accessories are all laid out here. I'm actually going to wear my dad's vintage Ray Bans. Um, these are my favourite sunglasses of all time, and I feel very lucky to have them. My new Janvito Rossi sort of raffia pointed slingbacks. They look really nice with the outfit. They really add that touch of sort of vintage vibes. Vintage earrings, twillies, and I'm going for Serge Lutin Fleur de Orange because this is like summer. This is just makes me think of Wimbledon. Like citrusy, but floral. It's, oh, it's gorgeous. So I think that'd be really lovely for tomorrow. Ignore the bun. <laughs> it looks like one of those like sock buns that you used to do when you were younger. Just ignore it, okay? I've got so much like oil and three minute miracle on this bun that it's gross and I just need it out of my way. I'm wearing slingbacks tomorrow and when you're wearing slingbacks, that means one thing, your heels are on show. So um, this is so good, so, so good. This is the Beauty, Beauty Pie Fotopia Super Softening Foot and Heel Cream with shea butter, cactus enzymes, and microbiome plus. I put this on when I'm in bed. I just put my feet under the covers, let them marinate, and honestly, whenever I go and have a pedicure, they always say, wow, you don't really have like much dry skin on your feet. And trust me, walking around on stone floors, you do. 
but um, I find that this almost like eradicates it. It's so good. But I have realized I haven't shut up the house, so I'm gonna put this on when I get into bed. Good morning, everyone. It is pouring with rain. So I washed my hair this morning and sadly, it is um, going straight up in a ponytail. Um, I've also had a dress change because the other one was completely backless and I just felt like I was really going to do myself a disservice if I wore a dress that was backless when it's raining. So I've changed over to the Reformation like capped sleeved dress um, just because I feel like it's probably a little bit more weather appropriate. Um, it's also a bit shorter because um, it's raining, which means there could be flickage up my dress, which I don't love either. Uh, so that is, <laughs> that's how things are going this morning. I'm not hopeful whatsoever, but we shall see how the day unfolds. But I'm really looking forward to getting to London for brunch with Glamour. Um, I feel like I look like one of the umpires today and I'm not mad about it. I've got real kind of like vintage vibes, taken real inspiration from like vintage Wimbledon style. Uh, the pleats really, really, I think give a nod to that. Um, I've got a little twilly in my hair, little vintage um, uh, mez belt. I don't want to look down because I see my boobs and then I worry all day that people can see my boobs. But um, the blazer is Holland Cooper and I've just, hoiked the sleeves up um, so that you can see a little bit of uh, wrist. This is the navy blue option and I'm wearing a size six. And then I've got my Jambito Rossi sling back on, which I think would be really comfortable for today. And um, yeah, I was going to wear my hair down, but sad times, I'm not doing that now. I'm also gonna swap over to my phone now so that I don't have two cameras with me and I'm going to do my best to remember to film. I'm not very good at doing this when I'm out and about and I do realise that. I'm like in my element when I'm vlogging at home and when I go out into public I'm like I just can't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do my best. I am en route to Dover Street. Um, I made it to London and the taxi rank in London just isn't working. I hate to be someone that moans about these things but I really miss the old one because first of all, we didn't have to go outside when it's like damp and rainy like it has been today. But second of all, there's just never any taxis there and it's just, it just doesn't work. Every time I've stood there, it's been like 45 minutes. And so I'm actually supposed to be at the brunch now. I've only got an hour and 15 minutes there. So a bit of a nightmare, but it doesn't matter. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm heading to uh, Dovetail with Glamour magazine for the launch of the Glamour Beauty Box. I haven't seen what's in the Beauty Box, so hopefully I'll be able to show you what's inside. I'm supposed to be leaving with the Beauty Box, but obviously because I'm going to Wimbledon, I thought that was probably a bad idea. I don't even think they'd let, let me in with something like that. So um, they're gonna post it to me. So hopefully when we're there, I'll get to show you what is in there, what is on offer because I know that my audience loves a beauty box. Um, I also met a lovely lady whilst I was stood in the queue and um, we got a selfie together which was lovely. And then once I finish at the, at the Glamour brunch I am meeting my husband, picking him up and heading to Wimbledon with Hello Magazine and Emirates um, for a hospitality like experience at Wimbledon with them. Um, really looking forward to that as well. So I told you I'd do it. I'd show you exactly what was in the beauty box and tell you all about it as well. So we've got some Dermatica in here, some Rodial. You know I absolutely love Rodial and also the skin food, which is the, oh, I've not tried this, the ultralight dry oil. I always think that beauty boxes are such a great way to get like acquainted with products that maybe you've been interested in but haven't had the opportunity to try yet. And also maybe stock up on some that you do love. So there's Fenty, there's milk, there's literally so much in here. So I'll put all of the details of the beauty box in the description box down below. This is a subscription service with Glamour and basically there are going to be four boxes a year 
each, I think to the value of 200 pounds, no minis, no sample sizes, all full size products and amazing products at that, products that you get to try, are loved by the Glamour team and have been hand selected for these boxes. So I'll pop a link down below. It is launched now, which is super exciting. And I think, um, I, know, I know you guys love a box. So this is very, very exciting. I'm gonna sit down and have some wonderful brunch in this setting. Because look how gorgeous this is. It's amazing. Uh, I'm leaving out really. I'm like, I'd rather have the hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cheese, so. so you were good. I don't, I don't have the excuse of like, oh, I've got children because you've got. Um, and I came back and I was like, Jessa, Jessa, we need this in the box. And then she had to go up and make it all happen. Or she brings me things and I'm like, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so thank you for putting up with us and all our requests. Are we a massive pain in the arse? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but really, it's quite That's what Deborah said. You know, we really care about our audience <laughs> and um, all of our audience and making sure that products work for everybody regardless of skin type, skin tone, hair texture, whatever it may be. Um, so we try to work really hard at that. Um, no promising that we always get it right, but we really, really try our best to do that and have a real mix of things and give great value. Because the one thing that we know about the Glamour audience is they're all absolutely beauty obsessed. Um, and so we want to give them really, um, really great products to love. We finished up at the Glamour brunch and I've met this one. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are just- I actually shouldn't be sitting here with my jacket buttoned up, but I'm eager to get going. Yeah. <laughs> We've just um, jumped in the taxi and we are zooming across to Wimbledon. At five miles per hour. At five miles per hour. So there's very minimal zooming happening. And um, we are going to meet with the Hello team and also Emirates. Apparently, Charlotte has just texted me to say that the suite is stunning. The Emirates suite. Yeah. So very Amazing. much looking forward to experiencing this. I don't think I've ever done hospitality like this at. Um, we went with Nessa Porte, but that was in the yeah, garden yeah, we rooms, wasn't it? The garden rooms and they had the lovely marquee. Yeah, that was very lovely. lovely. That was nice. such a nice way of doing things. And then I've done, oh no, I have dance. done hospitality. I've always done it with Elizabeth Arden, um, but that's in the uh, Gatsby on the yes. lawn, which is really lovely. And um, we did Hark and Dars at one day. The Hark and Dars ad, that was brutal. That was <laughs> so, that was one of our first paid jobs as well. Do you remember that? Why was it brutal? because we had to shoot and we couldn't get any people in the background because we were shooting haagen ice creams they were the official sponsor and we I were to try and miss people out stressed out, out of our tree that's like the old days of vlogging where you had to essentially create like a campaign like image as if it wasn't shot on the day and we got there we'd never been to wimbledon before and we were like oh my gosh there's so many people how are we going to get these shots it's still very very cool and a very cool opportunity but um I think this is going to be very lovely. I love Wimbledon. I just, I think the vibe is so much fun. It's my first time ever going to Wimbledon when it's raining though. No, no, it's not supposed to rain. Anymore. No, no, it was only supposed to be a little bit of rain, like I think this morning, but other than that, nothing. However, we are being very British and talking about the weather, which is perfect on a day like Wimbledon. Um, but hopefully I'll get to give you a little look around the suite. But what a wonderful way to start the day with the Glamour team. They're doing such incredible work as well, not just launching beauty boxes and things like that. But um, I was speaking to Deborah about one of the campaigns that they're working on at the moment where they're trying to essentially add um, the illegality of deep fakes to um, the social media bill at the moment. And apparently they've got it over the line. And then with the election, these things are, um, are then frozen and you kind of have to get the, the next elected uh, prime minister on uh, board. Yeah, so they're working on that at the moment because they've got a lot of um, women that have been affected by being deep faked. And um, it's just in, it's just unbelievable that it, it's not something like that happens and it's not immediately added to, because social media is so fast paced. They're working on that at the moment. And I just, it's just such an, it's, it's so good that we've got these like communities and businesses head up by powerful women making changes like this and really fighting these mm -hmm. fights so that we can just continue on without the threat of things like that happening in an online sphere it's incredible um so from one spectacular team to another we are heading to wimbledon well that was 10 at the bottom and you, that was eight so, yeah, so going the right way. direction amazing i am so excited for today and what do you love the most about wimbledon because it's not your first time is it you have been before what do you enjoy most 
Aside yes. from the strawberries and green, <laughs> the style. <laughs> Speaking of style, I did feel like you were going to say that. Where's the outfit inspiration come from today when you woke up this morning? I mean, you always put together like yourselves. Thank you. So <laughs> um, well, actually, I went to Pinterest and I, I looked at vintage photographs of attendees at Wimbledon and I kind of took a little bit of inspiration okay. from that. So the pleats I went for in like the old school skirts, but then I still wanted that typical sort of Wimbledon coloration. So navy, white, and a little bit of gold to just warm it up. I was going to say you've gone for the traditional tennis outfit and I absolutely love that. Now finally, before I do let you go and enjoy your strawberries and green Strawberries. Um, strawberries. Yeah. How much did you take? Oh. Um, we're going to do an atmosphere one. Oh. Oh. There's nearly 2 million and 54,000 tennis balls. Uh, so more tennis balls than strawberries. No, nearly 2 million strawberries and 54,000 yeah, yeah. tennis balls. So the strawberries win. I was far off. I was really far off. You still got strawberries right. So I'm going to let you enjoy some. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank Strawberries and cream at Wimbledon. This is such a treat. Oh my goodness, I think I've just been sat at the most incredible table. To the right of me, Beverly Knight, the most incredible singer. I feel like I grew up, thank you so much. <laughs> Um, I'm getting my takeaway card. The most incredible singer ever. I grew up listening to her music and she is such a sweetheart. I got to meet her husband and then I was also sat with Melissa Odebash and wow, that is like fashion royalty. What an amazing, incredible woman. I've been like a customer of her, her designs for such a long time. But Ali and I are now gonna go down and watch some tennis. So I've got my lovely little takeaway cup, but the actual like suite is incredible. The food is amazing and the staff, unbelievable. I don't think I've ever experienced hospitality like the staff in the Emirates suite. They are flawless and so lovely as well. all of the florals for me look how beautiful they all are hydrangeas salvia agapanthus it is such a gorgeous spectacle Oh my goodness, this is the most incredible afternoon tea. Look at that cake. Wow. Yeah, that is the cake. Literally. We've got Beverly showing us the cake. Right there. Yes! <laughs> We're going to have some fun with this. <laughs> we just finished up the day and we are heading to get a lovely car home with the Land Rover uh, collection. And 
I'm very excited for this, but we've had the most wonderful day. I feel like I've made a forever friend in Beverly. We had the loveliest afternoon tea together and with her partner as well. So I've just honestly, best, best day. Now we're getting in our car. Excuse me. But Porter, Porter, <laughs> Porter, Porter, I haven't been with any other dogs. I promise. I haven't been with any other dogs. But I promise. No other dogs. None. I swear. I swear. I swear. No other dogs. I've been at Wimbledon. No other dogs. <laughs> oh, Daddy's giving you treats. Is he making you run around the living room? <laughs>